What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pwn, coming at you guys today with another Battlefield 4 gun review. Today we are focusing on the Gull Magnum Bolt Action. So, first things first, before we get kicked off and talking about what makes this thing tick, I want to remind you guys that I made a video way back in the day when the, it was out on the Xbox One, teaching you guys exactly how to unlock this. There are a couple tips that I can give you that will generally make this unlock much easier. That video is down in the description below. I would recommend entirely ignoring the Caspian one. That dude just totally hit the ceiling. And <laughs> to remind you that when unlocking this, you do not have to get sniper shots on or near the tower. You can actually get C4, anything you want to kill. It just has to be on that one specific tower. So that video is down below. It'll help you definitely. But for now, let's just jump right into what makes this thing work. Okay, the Gold Magnum has a maximum damage of 100. It also drops off to about 59 damage, and it starts at 12.5 meters, ending at 150 meters, completely identical to the stats of the SRR-61. Now, what's truly impressive on this weapon is its fire rate, coming in at 63 rounds per minute and a bullet velocity of 580 meters per second. And I know you're looking at that 63 and you're like, that's supposed to impress me? It is. It's the fastest shooting bolt action in the game, and though it may not seem like a big deal to you, the difference between this weapon is it gets a few shots off before the SRR gets two. So you gotta keep that into consideration, that this thing definitely does have an incredible fire rate, and it just, just lock that down in the back of your mind that this is probably the best well-rounded bolt action in the game, if not the best overall bolt action in Battlefield 4. Now these two happen to be kind of drawbacks. It's got an ammo capacity of only 6 rounds and a reload time of 3.3 seconds and while empty of 4.1. May not be the best to have such a slow reload for a weapon that only has 6 shots, but it's gotta have a flaw somewhere. Is that a deal breaker? Hell no. You're gonna have to reload snipers all the time. You have a secondary if you need to. At the end of the day, it's still a really, really reliable weapon, and though those are pretty significant flaws, they're not near enough to hold this weapon back from the raw potential that it truly has. So let's hop into a comparison. Today we're comparing the goal with the SRR-61 and the FYJS. As you can see, the goal has very, very similar stats to the SRR-61. The major difference being that it has an incredibly higher rate of fire. The FYJS is pretty decent. It has uh, weaker damage over distance. And as you can tell with the velocity, the ammo capacity, and the reload time, that is basically meant for a close quarters weapon. The M40 is very, very close to the rate of fire. The goal overall is very, very similar to the goal. Uh, with a few more shots and everything, but also just understand that this this goal is just probably what I would consider the the best bolt action in the game. What you guys know about that collateral followed up by yet another collateral. It's fair to assume that many of you guys have just found your new favorite bolt action, be it you're a fan of aggressive recon or maybe the traditional sniper sit back on a rock. This should be the new gun that a lot of you guys are going to prefer. The reason for being is it's got the best of both worlds. The FYJS is known to be a close quarters only. The SRR-61 is known to be a long and medium range shot. This one has the best of both of them. It's got the damage and the damage over distance and the reliability that the SRR-61 has, but it also has the insane rate of fire that allows it to be good in close quarters. And even more so is that affects long range too. You can clear off a couple people. You know, how many times have you shot at a guy and he managed to run away and get inside a building or behind cover and you couldn't get him? Maybe if you would have had this weapon, that could have been a difference. So, from my experience with this weapon and everything I can see statistically about this weapon, I would rate this gun a 5 out of 5. This is the best overall sniper in the game, in my opinion. There are a lot of average weapons in the game. The M40, which has an insanely high fire rate, a lot of reliability, good damage hold off. There are a lot of guns that have these things, but I think that the flaws on this weapon are not near as uh, demanding as some of the other ones, like the FYJS is just no good at long range. Uh, the SRR is not that good in close quarters. Can you kill with them? Yes. Are they reliable? Not like you'd want. This gun has, like, the, it's like a hybrid. It's great at, at all ranges, and it's extremely good at all ranges. So it's not like it's just good at some ranges or good at all ranges. It's great at all ranges. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. It'd be great if you guys can smack that like button. If we could hit 2,000, that would be great. I will have more videos up. Leave a comment down below on what gun you would like to see next in this review show. It could be Second Assault. It could be anything. But for now, guys, hope you guys have a good day. Go unlock this damn thing. And I want to remind you, if you've not you know, figured out how to unlock it, there's going to be that video down there, too, in the description. Have a great day, guys. Stay moist.